black men have been taking L's for a long time now. Now, Mayor Brandon Johnson over in Chicago. Today, on September 21st, 2023, you receive a reprieve. You will get temporary legal status on the Millionaire Morning Show. Temporary. Because we got another Illinois mayor that we got to bring to the front of the congregation. Eric Adams. You will get temporary asylum here on the Millionaire Morning Show. Temporary. I have no idea what it is that I'm going to talk about tomorrow unless another black woman will take y'all place because black men have been catching L's for several weeks now. I've been bringing them to the front of the congregation. So I don't want to hear no complaints that Anton does not e keep it equal across the board. If you do something egregious or you're a bad person when it comes to how you're legislating our states and you're messing up the money, we're going to have to have a conversation. But black women, it's your turn, boo. Any of y'all know who this woman is at the bottom of my screen? I'm going to take a guess and say that you don't. I'm going to take a guess and say that you don't. You guys are not familiar with this girl that got her hair done, makeup done, all, everything. Hair done, hair done, everything big. <laughs> hair done, hair done, everything. Are you sexy, girl? Are you fancy, girl? Are you fancy, girl? Are you fancy, girl? Mm -mm. Hair done, nails done, everything big. Hair done, nails done, everything. That's that Drake. You know Drake's first album, Thank Me Later, Swiss Beats was on the beat. A lot of y'all not familiar with that. That was way before your time. Way before y'all time, that was around the mixtape era, Wheezy, No Ceilings, all of that type of stuff. Don't worry about it. If you are not familiar with this woman, I am going to then bring you up to, up to speed of who she is, right? This woman is a small town mayor of, of people around 20,000 people, but she makes over a quarter of a million dollars per year. And guess what the people are mad about? Don't worry. Let me go ahead and bring it up to you guys. Thank you guys for sending this to my email because otherwise I wouldn't have known anything about it. Can the Dalton Police Department afford to have this many officers attached to her detail? We can. We really need them patrolling the streets. So she's the part-time mayor of a South Suburban village of a little more than 20,000 people. Yet residents of Dalton are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars per year to provide security for their self-proclaimed super mayor. Listen, listen, listen. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. There's, the reason that this show is called Superpowers is our self-proclaimed, and you know people love to get themselves some titles, Self-proclaimed super mayor is running the city. Black woman in here taking over the city, 20,000 residents, and she getting a bag, and she bringing her friends with her. Let's talk about it. Tonight, Fox 32 investigates Tiffany Henyard's security detail and the massive amount of overtime it is generating for a handful of officers. Our Dane Placco has more. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard, the People's Mayor and People's Supervisor. Tiffany Henyard makes nearly a quarter million dollars a year serving as both Mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township Supervisor. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Shout out to my black queens that's out here holding multiple positions. She said, listen, I'm the mayor. I'm the supervisor, I'm the city council, I'm the treasurer. This is a dictatorship, this is not a democracy. I am everything to everybody, I am the super mayor. I ain't never heard no junk like this before in my life. Listen, I've been studying and watching politics and seeing where the money go for a long time. I have never seen a woman that has a poster and is running every position in the town of 20,000 making over a quarter million dollars a year and also got a birthday uh, poster up. That is the same poster that you see when people be trying to celebrate their birthday. Uh, such and such is birthday coming. It's going to be a turn up. Listen, this chick got a poster and, and it got congratulations on making history. Tiffany A. Henyard, Thornton Township supervisor and mayor and everything else that come along with it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I got to get her on the Millionaire Morning Show. I got to get her on the couch. We got to fly her up to Detroit, or maybe we can fly down to wherever it is. Oh, that's over right outside of Illinois. That's right up the street. That's right up the street. Yeah, we can have that conversation. I want to interview her. 
Hey, somebody get Tiffany Henyard on the phone and let me kick it with her and, and, and see if we can get some insight on how it was that she was able to perform this. But this is not even a thing that people are complaining about. Check it out. Check it out. They're not just complaining about the fact that she is super mayor. They're complaining about much, much more. Let's deep dive. An elected political double dip. She's charismatic and controversial. Nobody knows something. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Oh my God. I got to send this one to Angry Man. I got to get my dog Angry Man on this one. I got to get my dog Angry Man on this one. I don't even know if he's available right now. This is, this is, this. I got to, we got to get Angry Man on this one. Yo. Angry Man, I'm on the live right now, bro. What's going on, bro? Dog, I gotta send you this lady, bro. This this lady over in uh outside of Illinois. She uh <laughs> she the mayor and the township supervisor. She make over a quarter million dollars. She running up the bag on security. And she operating it like uh Wesley Snipes from New Jack City, bro. She started her, her meetings. Dog, you gotta see this one, bro. <laughs> you go you're gonna get a bag on this one, bro. I gotta send this one to you. As soon as I get off the live, I'm sending it to you, bro. Yes, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call you when I get off the live, bro. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Angry man gonna go crazy on this one, bro. A A.M. is gonna go crazy on this one, man. He is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident, pay me what you owe me. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, what is happening over in these streets, bro? Oh my God, this can't be real. No, I didn't know that all of this was going to be in the video when y'all sent this to me in my email. No way. No way is this in the video. Un hold on, hold on. I just got to play it straight out. Let me start back and let me just play it straight out, bro. ...is both mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township supervisor, an elected political double dip. She's charismatic and controversial. Nobody knows something. Don't nobody know nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident, <laughs> pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. And it's hard to turn anywhere in Dalton without seeing Henyard's picture or online, where she recently commemorated 9-11 with her own photo. Let me ask you a few questions. Okay. But when we asked Henyard a few months ago about her use of tax dollars, she was quickly hustled out of the room by armed security. And on Facebook, in videos posted by Henyard herself, we see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which got us to wondering, why all the cops? We weren't opposed to her having the security detail. We asked how long and how often. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood says Henyard began assembling her details shortly after being elected in 2021. Yo, what the hell is happening over in Dalton? Debt free dad, I'm going to be reading the super chat shortly. I just, I am so amazed that we got people running the city like y'all running. What is this, a, a hair shop? Dog, this is impossible. What country do I live in? Somebody said, what in the Tubi movie is this? Yo, I can't understand. Yo, they taking y'all tax dollars and they running it up like it's a movie. She got posters of herself on every corner out here in these streets over in Dalton. I'm about to go to Dalton. How, what's, how far away is Dalton? How far away is Dalton? I am very curious as to what the hell is happening out here in these streets. 
using hand-picked Dalton police officers. Using a Freedom of Information request, we obtained the work records for six of the officers assigned to Henyard security detail at various times and showed them to some of Dalton's trustees. This is a Freedom of Information request we did to see how much overtime these officers are making on her security detail. Oh, wow. 162 hours. 162. Oh, that's nothing. What goes through your mind when you see these numbers? Um, uh, it, it's How many hours is in a week? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hours in a week. It's only 168 hours in a week. Hold on, wait. How do you have 162 hours in overtime, but it's a, only a... Hold on, wait. Wait a minute. If it's 168 hours in a week, how did you work 162 of them? So you telling me you only slept for one day every day or one hour every day? It's 162, 168 hours in a week. How do you hit 162 hours? What? It's, it's disappointing. It's frustrating. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the. <laughs> you getting 200 hours of overtime? 200 hours of overtime every pay period? Or you working? No, you getting 160 hours of overtime. So you get 40. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me be fair. Let me use my C student mental math right now. 80 hours, which is 40 hours a week, every two weeks. And you getting 120 extra hours of overtime? Wow. Wow. You getting a hunt over 120 hours of overtime every week? Everybody busting down a bag over there in Dalton. Shout out to y'all for over there running up the bag and running up everybody's... Uh, light bill and water bill and turning up the property taxes and running that shit like the like the Carter. I'm sorry. Let me fix my mouth. Strike that from the record. They running Dalton like the Carter over there. No drug dealing. Listen, politics is the new finesse. Y'all ain't know. You ain't know. If they could do it over there in New York and they could do it over there in Chicago, why you think they not they can't redirect and get all of that bag and all of that overtime over here? I bet you it's a cousin of a cousin. Somebody probably owes somebody some money. Hey, man, come get this money. Come get this money. Politics is the new finesse. That's the new scam culture. You ain't know? Watch. Over the next four years, black people going to really start catching on. She ain't going to be the first and she ain't going to be the last. Politics is the new finesse. You can get everybody a bag. Everybody can become a part of your security detail. You can start to re redirect contracts. You can start to send money this way. This person going to put in a fake bid, but you're going to pretend like you're going through the bidding process, and then it's going to get awarded over there. Do y'all know why we have multiple layers of government, even on a local level, when you got the mayor, then you got the city council? I was talking to Eric Mays, the Flint city, city council member. He said, listen, it's not even just about the mayor. It's about the city council. The city council is where, who directing who's spending all of the money. But if you have a smaller town, then you can control the majority of the resources. And she's holding multiple different positions. If you're not putting this together, and this is my first time seeing this, listen, you can't be in a space where somebody is getting 120 hours of overtime, 60 hours of overtime. They getting 100 hours a week every single week. Anything over 40 hours is overtime. And they running that bag up and they don't even have to do nothing but stand next to you. Why do you think all of them black men running around her and acting like they care? Politics is the new finesse. See, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all of them, they've been getting rich for years. They just been doing it a little bit. You know, we gonna go in there and we gonna mess up the bag. We gonna go in there and we gonna make a spectacle. Now they gotta dress up like Wesley Snipes in, in New Jack City. And they're going to be playing Rihanna and drawing attention to herself. And everybody going to be getting mad. They're not doing this stuff. See, Chuck and them, they're doing it a little bit different. Nancy, AOC, they learned the game from all of their friends in there. Shaquana in here, she going to go in here and tear down the city. It's only 20,000 people. And ain't that much in property taxes. And she going to run up the bag and she ain't caring nothing about the budget. She said, we making history, baby. We making history, baby. Listen, politics is going to be the new finesse for black people. Watch, mark my words, mark my words. The case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two week period. That result.
That's 150 hours a week. That's 150 hours a week. It's only 168 hours in a week. That's over 150 hours in a week. Resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. How? How does a person put in a two-week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. That's impossible. Does he never go to sleep? In fact, there are 336 hours total in two weeks, meaning Young was not being paid for only 33 hours over that period. <laughs> that mean that man making money when he's sleeping. That man is making money when he awake, when he's sleeping, and they are running up the check. Other officers on the security detail are also racking up overtime paychecks in the multiple. Hey, right, let me get my dog pocket watching with JT on the phone real quick. Well, he probably at work right now because, you know, he's actually doing real work. Let me get pocket watching on the line real quick. This is the stuff that we need to be solving for in our community. Thousands of dollars. Mayor, mind if I ask you a couple questions about your security detail? Absolutely not. I'm asking her. Yeah, she says no. A couple weeks ago, we tried to question Henyard about her detail as she went door to door in Dalton giving out water on a 100 degree day. Surrounded by police. Are y'all still getting finessed by all of these? these bait and switch tactics going door to door giving out water on a hundred degree day are y'all seriously falling for this seriously these firefighters public works employees and two videographers documenting for dalton's facebook page i want to tell the people i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna keep going i hope they post what we actually do here in the village of dalton and stop telling lies but when we gave her an opportunity to explain the OT, Mayor, why do you need so many officers, you you details, or your security? Water? What did you say, water? It sounded like you said water. water. Earlier that day, we watched as a Dalton cop drove Henyard from her other job at Thornton Township to a Mexican restaurant for lunch. Trustees say the security detail picks the mayor up at her home in the morning and is with her until she's dropped off at night. This chick is the president of the United States. This is the president. Look at look at this simp in the chat. Look at this simp in the chat. Ain't nothing like a good black man that's going to come in and simp for somebody that's running up the check and basically doing the things that's not in the best interest of the people by using their tax dollars as their own personal piggy bank. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. If you don't get your, hold on, hold on. Let me see you. Let me put you on the front of the congregation. Man, if you don't get your simping ass on up out of the chat for that bull, man, get your ass up out of here. I can't stand y'all. This is why it's so easy for y'all to get finessed, man. Often taking her on errands and shopping. Does she need a security detail? Absolutely not. Why? Why would you need a security detail? Oh, she loves it. She just loves it. She loves the detail. <laughs> I think um, it makes her feel as if um, she's like a superstar. Dalton trustees have filed a lawsuit against Tenyard, saying she's not justified the need for security and is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on it without the board's approval. I see no justification whatsoever, and more than that, it's really a detriment to the residents of Dalton. How so? Um, the residents, if we would take the same money and put it on officers patrolling the streets, then the residents will see a much better presence and public safety would be better. We've had a few shootings, so we need the extra police patrolling our streets instead of patrolling her and we found dalton credit card statements showing that hold on y'all missed the y'all missed something hold on one second and we found where, where's her office at on martin luther king jr drive <laughs> hey she got she got her poster her poster is on the front of the building, the public building that she holds office in, and her and it's on Martin Luther King Drive. Martin Luther the King would have been rolling in his grave right now of what we see happening and playing out across America. This is insanity. 
Martin Luther the King would have been rolling over in his grave, seeing this woman finesse y'all out of y'all bag over in the, in the county and in the, in the, in what's going on over there in Dalton. She got her poster on the, on the building on Martin Luther the King Drive, and she is documented for her Facebook page. Jesus Christ, somebody give me a break. This is insanity. Insanity. Let me see something. Dalton, Illinois. Village of Dalton. What is this? What is this chick's name? Tiffany Henyard. Wow. She's on the front of the yo. <laughs> Oh, she got her signature. Mayor Tiffany Henyard, scan me. Wow, this is crazy. This is insane. I cannot believe that this is what we're dealing with right now. This is crazy. This chick is marketing herself. Maybe this is our new president. Contact. Hi, my name is Anton Daniels. I'm from Detroit, right up the street. You know, we like to call the cities over there in Illinois, our sister cities and our brother cities. I just like to say that we cousins. Actually, I'm a content creator, uh, and I'd love to document the journey of what's going on with Tiffany. Uh, if you can give me a call back at 313 I'd love to either fly her out over here uh, in Metro Detroit to do an interview. I'm a pretty uh, decent sized content creator, or I can come over there and interview you and possibly follow her. Uh, if it's okay with you guys, feel free to give me a, con a call back. I'd love to come over and document what's going on over there. I love what you guys are doing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Looking forward to getting your call back as soon as possible. See you guys later. We got to get the move. We, we need to understand what's going on over here in the city of Dalton, in the village. I'm sorry. I disrespected it. It's not the, it's not the city of Dalton. It's the, vid it's the village of Dalton. Found Dalton credit card statements showing that Henyard takes the detail with her even when she travels out of town, spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Where, where are they visiting? And plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. Mayor, why are you taking all the officers out of town with you? Isn't that a waste of taxpayers' money? Let's go to this one right here. Talking Anything talking you want to say, we'll defend yourself on this. As for the village's finances, trustees say Dalton is now getting sued by some vendors for failure to pay its bills. In the last two fiscal years, we're $5 million in the hole. We don't care nothing about no budget. We're running this checkup. We don't care nothing about no budget. We running this checkup. We don't care if y'all five million dollars over budget in the hole and all of y'all businesses is failing and y'all ain't got no police presence and crime is going up. Listen, the more important thing is we got to get them likes up on Instagram. And a big part of it is the security detail. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You don't see the governor with a detail as hers. That lawsuit over the mayor's detail has not yet been settled. On Monday, we emailed a list of detailed questions to Henyard's spokesman, but never received a response. Shout out to Tiffany Henyard. Hopefully I can get a, a call back from you guys. I'm looking forward to having a conversation. Uh, and thank you, thank you, thank you for taking over and getting your reparations over from the city. <laughs> Oh, 